Hi everyone, my name is Lane. I'm the Genera rep down in South Florida. Today we're going to be talking about our Genera column refrigeration and freezers. So before I open these up, a couple of quick things. So as far as configurations go, we have our freezer here on the left. We have the option of 18, 24, and 30 inches. And for our refrigeration here on the right, you can do 24, 30, or 36. Obviously here, we've done a beautiful custom overlay on the front, but you also have the option to purchase the stainless steel panel kit that comes in either Rise or Noir design, depending on your preference. So I'm gonna go ahead and open them up. So like I mentioned, you can choose to customize the front, but they do come as base model units. So it's almost gonna have like a naked front on the outside of the refrigerator. But when you open them up, this is what you will see. So immediately you might notice this stunning black obsidian interior that is exclusive to Gen Air. It's almost what we're known for. So you can see that because I'm in a showroom display, I've outfitted these with some really bright, pretty colors. The reason I did that is because it really helps to make the color pop when we have this black obsidian backdrop. So if you've ever gone to Whole Foods or Trader Joe's, you might notice that in the produce section, they have a dark gray or even a black backdrop to make the colors of the fruits and vegetables pop. Same story here. Our column refrigerator and freezers are almost like a work of art. And so we wanna make everything on the inside as beautiful as possible. So I already went over configurations and sizings. But another thing that I wanna mention that I get a lot of questions on from sales consultants is the accessories that come with and that are available for purchase. So if we look here, you'll notice that we have, excuse me, um, custom panel toe kicks at the very bottom. So that is something that would need to be purchased obviously separate if you chose to do the custom overlay on the front. If you wanted to have the bottom portion be black like the rest of the interior, you could actually purchase black toe kicks via Gen Air. So they're gonna have their own model number, or part number, I should say, that you would need to add because you aren't doing stainless steel panels on the front. If you are choosing to purchase stainless panels, again, either in Rise or Noir design, the panel is gonna come with the stainless front, the handle, specific to Rise or Noir, as well as the corresponding black token. But again, in the event that you choose not to purchase the stainless steel panels, you will either have to do something custom to match the cabinetry at the bottom or purchase the black toe kicks as an accessory. Another thing that I want to mention is the join kit in the middle. So if you were to have these connected because they are columns, they're standalone units. So if you wanted to have them connected to give the illusion of almost like a side-by-side -side integrated look, we do have a join kit that has three different options. You can do handle to handle, handle to hinge, or hinge to handle. So depending on the style, there's three different options as far as the joining, what might also be called the heater kit. Um, so that is also an option as an accessory. What we've done here is we've put a piece of cabinetry to help create a more cohesive look. So within our Gen Air columns, um, we have a couple different things that I want to point out. There's less than 3% plastic. So the door bins and the shelves are all glass and metal. So the vast majority of the unit has high quality uh, pieces integrated into it to help tell that prestige luxury story. You'll notice in the back our beautiful air tower with our nice Gen Air badge in the center and then this really beautiful lace etch pattern on the front to add to the aesthetic. Around the outside is this LED strip that has 650 LEDs to really make the color pop, especially against the black obsidian interior. Within the freezer, I do want to note that we have an ice maker here in this drawer. So it's over here on the left side. And because it's a freezer space, we do have two different temperature levels. So we have um, what we call divinity cooling, divinity meaning two zones. And then on the refrigerator, we have trinity cooling, meaning three zones. So you have a zone up here, a zone in the center, and then you have the zone for your crisper bins at the bottom. If we're able to zoom in a bit, you can see that we have these nice blacked out control panels in the center. What you might be used to seeing is the control panel up at the top, 
for folks like myself who might be a little bit vertically challenged that can be a bit difficult to interact with and then also it tends to be a bit of an eyesore when you first open up the units and going back to the sentiment I stated earlier with these being like a work of art we really wanted to focus on all of the other pieces of the interior outside of the control panel hence why we have it at waist level. So within the uh, refrigerator, like I said, we have the three different zones and on the control panel itself, you can actually see those different zones denoted visually. And that is how you're gonna be able to interact with, set the temperatures, utilize different features, all of that is on the control panel for both the refrigerator and the freezer. One of the last things that I wanna mention is going to be the fact that we do have interior ice in the freezer and then interior water here in the refrigerator. So outside of that, I think that pretty much covers how you are able to build out a full um, refrigerator between our Jenner Palm freezer and refrigerator options. One last thing, so we have our new curate program specific to Rise and UR. I did want to mention that in the event that you are putting a package together for a client and you want to include um, our Jenner columns. If you buy the refrigerator and freezer as a unit, two separate units, and then you add the stainless steel panel kit, that panel kit actually acts as your additional qualifying piece, and that will get you $1,000 off via the curing rebate. And that is shown here on these panelists that we have in our displays. In the event that they want to do custom panels and they don't want to go with the stainless steel panel kit, that's totally fine. All you need to do is add an additional Jenner qualifying model, so let's say a built-in coffee system, maybe a dishwasher, some type of ventilation, under counter wine cellar, whatever that might be, that will get them that additional $1,000 off through the rebate. So all in all, I will close these out and wish you all happy selling. Thanks.